Hello guys, welcome to another video in the theory. Of course, in today we are going to solve the problem which is called concatenate two numbers. Let's try to take an example to understand this. Let's say you are given one, two, three, four, five, right? You are given the number one, two, three, four, five. You have to concatenate two numbers to make the number one, two, three, four, five. Let's take an example. Suppose you have one, two here, and let's say you pick three, four, five from somewhere, and you concatenate both of them, right? You get one, two, three, four, five. So this is one possible solution. Let's try to search for other solutions. Let's say you have one, two, three. So now you have one, two, three, and you are want to look for four, five. So you also found a four, five. So these two pairs also, if you add, you will be able to get one, two, three, four, five. So the problem is you have to return all the possible count of all such possible pairs using which you can concatenate. For example, one, two, three, four, five here, and you have one, two, three, four, five here. Okay, and so on, right? All the possible pairs. So the um, approach is simple. Uh, what we'll do is, we have all these numbers given to us, right? We'll store a count of all those numbers, right? So let's try to um, store a count of all these numbers. So for example, one two, one two is occurring how many times? One two, one two, one two, one two, one two is occurring four times. Okay. Similarly, let's say we have four five. Four five is occurring how many times? Four five is occurring five times. Uh, sorry, four five is occurring two times. Four five is occurring two times. Uh, let's next see three four five. Three four five is occurring how many times? Three four five is occurring um, two times. Okay. Next let's see uh, one two three. One two three is occurring how many times? One time. Next we have one two three four. One two three four is occurring how many times? One two three four is occurring one time. Okay. So what is the advantage of storing the count? Once we have stored the count of all such. Um, possible numbers that are occurring now it's very easy right for example you know 1 2 is occurring four times and you know 3 4 5 is occurring two times that means what how many possible such pairs you have so 1 2 and 3 4 5 they combine to form x right so these two are a pair okay these two form a pair now how many such total pairs you have just multiply the counts you will get the answer 4 into 2 is equal to 8 you will get 8 pairs from 1 2 and 3 4 5 okay let's see you have this 1 2 right this 1 2 let's say this 1 2 is a you will combine with this 3 4 5 this 1 2 will combine with this 3 4 5 so you have two pairs similarly you have next 1 2 this 1 2 this 1 2 will also combine with this 3 4 5 and this will also combine with this 3 4 5 again you have two pairs similarly you have this 1 2 this 1 2 will combine with this 3 4 5 and also with this 3 4 5 again you have two pairs okay you have this one two this will also combine with three four five this will also combine with three four five you again have two pairs so totally how many pairs you have you have four into two that is eight pairs so that's why we needed to store count because instead of counting the pairs one by one if we just store a count of them what we can do we can simply multiply the count of both of them four into two that is equal to eight that will give us the answer okay so what whenever we find a, um, a string we will look for its we look for its partner string so these two are partners then we will look at the count of both of them and multiply the count 4 into 2 is equal to 8 will give us the answer okay this is a simple approach this is a simple approach now there's just one more thing right there's just one more thing so we can also find out uh, there's one more thing what if okay let's let's take one more example let's say you have 1 2 1 2 1 2 okay this is the uh, this is the string and let's say you have some other random strings let's say you have 5 6 and you have uh, 1 1 2 something like this okay let's say this is your input now let's say you have string x you have string x and your string x is 1 2 1 2 now what is your answer so we'll do the same thing right first of all we'll make a count of all such we'll make a count of all such uh, numbers so for example 1 2 1 2 is occurring three times 1 1 2 1 1 2 is occurring one times and you have 56 56 is occurring one times okay you have built this count you can use a map to build this count now you have to find answer right how many strings concatenate to give one to one two so we have one two occurring three times so what you will write as your answer in this case you will see one two is occurring three times and what is the partner string of one two partner string of one two is again one two so what you will you will do you will multiply both the counts and you will say three into three nine is the answer but this is wrong because you cannot find nine pairs okay why is it wrong let's see how many pairs are there you have this one two right this one two will form a pair with this one two this one two will form a pair with this one two so you have two okay so so as of now you have two answers next you have this one two this one two will form a pair with this one two and this one two again you have two answers right 
okay so you have till now two plus two answers similarly this one two will form a pair with this one two and this one two so you have again so the answer is six the answer is not nine if you if you simply store the count okay the answer is six but if you simply store the count and you multiply three into three you'll get nine why is this a problem why is this thing not working here because because the partner whenever the string the first string and the second string both the strings are same right both the partner strings are string, same then in that case what you have to do one two the first string right the first string you, you should not you should suppose this is the string one two right it can form partner strings with only two strings it cannot form a partner string with itself right it will form a partner with only two other strings so in this case you should not multiply three by three rather you should multiply three by two because the partner string will not form a string with itself uh, will not form uh, a pair with itself right so you should multiply three by two okay that is the only thing you have to remember now let's 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 do the entire working of this uh, of this solution okay let's let's see how many final answer we are getting in this in this example and then we'll move forward to solution okay so once we have built this string right once we have built these strings what we'll do let's start so once we have built the count in map building the count is very easy let's find the final answer okay so what is our x x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so let's try to find how many substrings are there in this okay so for example you can take the first substring first string first string is 1 what is the second string second string is 2 3 4 5 so let's look if in our map we have a 1 okay we don't have a 1 neither we have 2 3 4 5 right so for this the, for this pair the answer is 0 now let's uh, change the first and second let's say first is equal to 1 2 and second is equal to 3 4 5 okay so let's uh, because these two strings first and second will combine to give you x so let's see how many 1 2 strings you have we have 4 1 2 strings and how many uh, 3, 4, 5 strings you have, you have 2, 3, 4, 5 strings. So, the, so 8, you found 8 pairs, right? So, you found 8 pairs. So, let me store the answer variable. Answer variable. Till now, we have found 8 pairs, okay? Now, let's continue again. So, next time, the first string is 1, 2, 3. The second string is 4, 5. Let's see how many pairs are we getting. Let's look in the map how many 1, 2, 3s we have. We have 1, 1, 2, 3. Let's look how many 4, 5 we have. We have 2, 4, 5. So, 1 into 2 is equal to 2, right? 1 into 2 is equal to 2. So again we found two more answer strings. Okay. Again we found two more answer strings. Now next pair. Next we have 1, 2, 3, 4 as a first string and we have 5 as a second string. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4 but we don't have a, a 5. We don't have 5. That's why 1 into 0 is 0. So we found no pair for this. Okay. Next we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But this for this you need an empty string as a pair. So this is not a valid case. Okay. So the total number of answers you have is 8 plus 2 which is equal to 10 in this case. Okay. So we understood the approach. Now let's move forward to coding. Now why am I changing everything to string? Why was I saying everything string? Because you can have very large numbers, right? So because you are, you are having very large numbers, it's easier to convert into string and uh, look at the solution. Okay. So uh, using string, con uh, we can easily do concatenation and other operations. So let's start. So what are we doing? First of all, we are building the map, right? We are building the count of everything. So let's build the map. So we'll build an unordered map so that it can just look up using hashing and in the best time complexity. So what we are doing? We are building a string. For example, we are, uh, let's say we have the string 1, 2. In the map, what we'll store? Corresponding to 1, 2, we'll store the count of 1, 2. So we are building this map, right? This is what we are going to build. So for example, corresponding to 1, 2, we'll store 4 in our in our example okay so once we have our map let's try to build our map so let's start for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus let's build our map so in the map everything is integer so we will give what we will do to convert integer to string we will give simply the two string function in c plus plus and that will convert everything to string so you have numbers of i so each of the uh, strings in numbers we are going to uh, we are going to convert each of the number to string once we have converted we will store it in map okay after converting it to string we will store it in map and we will increment the count okay so we have built the map this simple code has built the map okay so built the map done after building the map what we have to do we have to find out what is our final answer right so what we are doing we are taking a first string and we are taking a second string okay so let's start so let's start for int i equal to i equal to 1 i less than um, so what we have to do is let let's let's take 
all the possible substrings all possible all possible first and second string so what we are doing for example you have 1 2 3 4 5 right 1 2 3 let's say your x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 so for example you will also have to give x so x is also given in integer format so first we will convert x okay to a string let's say you have 1 2 3 4 5 so we will declare two strings one is the string first string first is what string first is string first is for example 1 in the first case then what will be the string uh, second second will be 2 3 4 5 if the string first is 1 2 second will be 3 4 5 if string first is 1 2 3 second string will be 4 5 if string first is 1 2 3 4 string second will be 5 and so on right so what will be the first string first string will be the first smallest possible substring of of string x so we will start with the first possible substring so x dot sub str function 0 to i i is the ending index right i is the ending index so for example this will be the substring of just the 0th 0th index so this substring initially initially for i equal to 1 this substring will just be 1 and what will second become second will become the substring from i till x dot size okay so in the first case one is the uh, substring first and second is 2 3 4 5 right in the next case 1 2 and 3 4 5 in the next case 1 2 3 and this will be 4 5 okay in the next case this will be 1 2 3 4 this will be 5 and so on right so what we are going to do we have string first and we have string second now we look their count in map so m first into m dot second if it is not there in the map if it is not there in the map anyway one of these will be zero right so this is fine okay this will work perfectly fine now there's just one more thing one more thing we have to do if first and second are equal right if first and second are equal if first is equal to second then what you will have to do you will we saw the case right in that case we will have to multiply we will have to multiply okay so what we will do if first and second are equal then what you can do for example we saw this case when uh, you have um, we saw this case when you have 1 2 1 2 1 2 right and and let's say the string x is 1 2 1 2 so in this case how many pairs you will have you have effectively only six pairs corresponding to each 1 2 you have only two pairs corresponding to this 1 2 again two pairs corresponding to this 1 2 only two pairs so in this case the answer is 6 and what is 6 3 into 3 minus 1 which is 3 into 2 so what you have to do you have to just uh, do this if first is equal to second you have to do this otherwise you can simply do this okay so now let us run and see if it's going to work. So there is some compilation error. Answer was not declared in the scope. So let me quickly declare answer. Answer is a long long variable. Initially we will make it 0. Now let's quickly check again if it's going to work. So it's working right. Now let me submit and see if it's working for all the possible test cases. Okay, it's working. Thank you for being patient and listening.